My name is Morten and welcome to Frost Astrophotography. Today we're going to talk about cable management. What are you going to do with all the cables on your equipment? So I'm going to redo my cable management on my telescope. I have a Leica power supply that I use. It can handle all of my equipment. It is 150 watts and 15 amp with 12 volts. But it is not equipped with the standard power cable or power connection here in Sweden anyway. Uh, and that is 5.5 millimeter externally and 2.1 millimeter internally. It is actually equipped with a uh, 5.5 millimeter externally and 2.5 millimeter internally. So if I try to connect this standard connection to it, uh, it won't fit like you see here. So what I need to do is to make an adapter and this adapter is for the 2.1 millimeter in both ends. So I'm going to replace this with a 2.5 millimeter middle plug instead. That will allow me to connect this adapter to my power supply and have three outlets for devices. Now I'm fairly sure which cable goes where, but it's always important to check to see which cable is actually the middle pin here. So I put this connection, this measuring device to contact and then put that into my center and then put it to the red. You can hear the tone. You can't hear any tone for the black one, just to verify the black one. And that's how you know that the red cable is supposed to be uh, on the center pin here. This is my power cable for this USB 3 hub. I use this to connect all of my equipment. I'm also going to use the hub functionality in my new camera just to be able to use shorter cables. But this is powered and this need 5 volts. So I have uh, another Leica power supply just to be on the safe side that can also deliver uh, 15 amps at 5 volts. But it is equipped with a, a much much smaller power connector. And I want to be able to connect this to my to my Leica power adapter and uh, just like the 12 volt version it's equipped with a 5.5 2.5 
female connector and I need to replace this one uh, which is 5.5 2.1 so I'm gonna replace this <laughs> Now this is my high-tech Astro Mini Dew controller. I actually took this apart and instead of a 12 volt cigarette lighter attachment I attached this cable and a power plug. <clears throat> uh, but now I want to be able to disconnect this cable uh, at this end. So I can mount it somewhere on my telescope and then just uh, unplug it. So I'm going to cut this cable and mount a power connector right here. And then make uh, a, a, an extension cord with this cable to be able to connect it to my power source. <music> the high-tech astro dew heater controller to my upper dovetail and that will bring it closer to the center and not sticking out like it did on this side I actually used the Schneider electric flexible stripes made of rubber instead of hard plastic as you can see I also had this striped to my telescope. Instead of this, I'm going to purchase some new RCA connectors uh, that I can solder on here. This is the dew strap from my guide scope. And you can see it's a very long cable. 
and I only need <laughs> like 10 centimeters or 5 centimeters or something. So I'm basically going to cut off this contact and I'm going to put a new contact on there. Now this is a soldering contact so it will be a good connection and I'm not going to replace any cables. I'm going to use the original cable that came with the juice trap. <laughs> On one of the tripod legs you can see my two power supplies, the Leiki 12V and the Leiki 5V. Up here you can see the splitter that allows me to connect several cables to one power connector. From that point I have one cable sleeve that goes up to my telescope and instead of coming up uh, to the camera on the back. It comes up in the center of the telescope. To make my life easier I can disconnect the USB cable, the 12 volt and the 5 volt. And I have also switched positions with the male and female so I do not uh, switch the 12 and 5 volts. That will be bad for the equipment. As you can see I still have a USB 3 cable and this is for my ASI camera. It uh, did not like an extension cable and it did not like my uh, USB hub over here. So this is actually the only cable that I need to disconnect from my scope. The rest is disconnected when I unplug this and I can remove my entire scope and take it inside. The main hub for my connections is this USB hub. Here I have the electronic focuser uh, connected. I also have my guide camera over here connected and I have my electronic uh, filter wheel connected. I also have one 12 volt cable going to the camera down here. I have one 12 volt cable going to my dew heaters over here. And I have one 5 volt cable going to the USB hub. Those are always connected and disconnected when I unplug these three. On the other side of the scope you see my dew heater assembly and my two dew straps for my guide scope and main scope. And I've shortened the cables and soldered two RCA connectors to allow my dew heater to be connected without any long cables interfering. I have also switched positions on this USB hub. It was mounted uh, this way before uh, and now it, it's more centered on the optical assembly. On the back of my equipment I have my filter wheel and my ASI 294mm Pro camera. 
and as I said the power supply is always connected and the only thing that I really need to disconnect is this USB 3 cable. All of the cables from this assembly goes to the front and to the center of my telescope and that allows me to move in any direction like this. And also like this. And the cable does not snag anywhere. On this leg I have my mini PC. So I have one cable here that goes up to my USB hub. I have one cable that goes directly to my ASI camera, USB 3. And I have one cable down here that goes right here to my hand controller for the mount. So that's just a 20 uh, or 30 centimeter cable. The power to my two power adapters are distributed by this uh, socket. And I have only one cable that connects this mount to my power outlet. Everything else is on the mount and the PC is controlled from inside through Wi-Fi. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. And until the next video, I wish you have some clear skies.